classification of soil and crop suggestion using machine learning techniques. Abstract agriculture is the major source for living for the people of India. Agriculture research is the major source of economy for the country. Soil is an important key factor for agriculture. There are several soil varieties in India. In order to predict the type of crop that can be cultivated in that particular soil type we need to understand the features and characteristics of the soil type. Machine learning techniques provides a flexible way in this case. Classifying the soil according to the soil nutrients is much beneficial or the famers to predict which crop can be cultivated in a particular soil type. Data mining and machine learning is still an emerging technique in the field of agriculture and horticulture. In this paper we have proposed a method for classifying the soil according to the macronutrients and micronutrients and predicting the type of crop that can be cultivated in that particular soil type. Several type of machine learning algorithms are used such as K-nearest neighbor, KNN, bag tree, support vector machine, SVM, and logistic regression. Keywords machine learning, agriculture, soil, classification, nutrients, Chemical Feature, Accuracy I Introduction Data Mining has been used for analyzing large data sets and establish classification and patterns in the data sets. The techniques are used to elicit significant knowledge that can be easily predictable by individuals. Data mining is a challenging technology in the field of agriculture. Nowadays data mining has been used in the field of agriculture for soil classification, wasteland management, crop, and pest management 1. In assessed the association rules of affiliation methods in DM and applied into the soil science to anticipate the significant connections and gave association rules to different soil types in agriculture. The agriculture factors such as rain, weather, soil type, pesticides, and fertilizers are the main responsible to increase the production. The main reason for agriculture is to grow crops. Crop cultivation depends on the nature and the nutrients of the soil increasing the cultivation of land which brings a loss of supplements present in the soil. In the crop cultivation soil plays an important role. It is important for plants, animals rocks, and living organisms. All of these helps in managing the fertility of the soil. A soil test is carried out to identify the nutrients content, composition, and other components contained in the soil. Soil tests are mainly conducted to measure the fertility and other defenses present in the soil so that suitable measure can be taken to resolve it. Machine learning is a field of computer science where new developments evolve at recent times, and also helps in automating the evaluation and processing done by the mankind thus by reducing the burden on human power. Machine learning is the field of artificial intelligence by the dint of which computers can be taught without explicit programming. In simple terms, the meaning of machine learning is basic algorithms can provide information about a data set without writing code to solve this program manually. Instead of writing code you provide data or the basic algorithm and it forms its own conclusions based on this data. In machine learning agriculture, the methods are derived from learning process. Those methodologies need to learn through experiences to perform a particular task. Once the learning is completed then the model can then be used to make an assumption to classify and to test data. The data is achieved after gaining the experience of the training process. Classification is the main problem in data mining. Classification is a data mining technique based on machine learning which is used to categorize the data item in a data set into a set of predefined classes. It helps in finding the diversity between the objects and concepts. It also provides necessary information for which research can be done in a systematic manner. Two literature review in a research carried out by Zamanur Raman a comparative study of several machine learning techniques has been carried out. They have carried out the classification using the data of Bangladesh. Considered the six district soil data and used the geographical features for classification. They have used K-nearest neighbor, bag tree, and SVM finally compared the results of three algorithms and brought out a model for classifying the soil types and the suitable crop that can be cultivated in that particular soil type 3. Among the used three algorithms SVM has obtained the average accuracy. In a research carried out by Lisa J. Armstrong a comparative study of data mining algorithms. They have used a large data set extracted from the Australian Department of Agriculture and Food. 
Agric, to conduct the research for. In an approach carried out by J. Golop carried out a modal to classify the soil based on fertility. The data set was collected from the soil testing laboratories of Pun District. They have used Waka tool for developing an automated system 5. Chiran Givimn carried out a research for classifying the soil types so that it can be useful for the farmers for analyzing the type of soil and the crop that can be cultivated so that there will a good yield and profit. They have considered the data mining algorithms for classifying the soil. They have used algorithms such as J48 Decision Tree Classifier and Naive Bayes Classifier. Among these two algorithms, Naive Bayes has obtained the maximum accuracy of 98% 6. 3. Data mining process The methodology involves the following steps. Data set collection. Pre-processing. Classification. Prediction. Result. A. Data collection Most of the research papers carried out the model using the chemical parameters, water content, electrical conductivity, organic content, and the fertility. The values of these are taken as inputs for the algorithm 7. B. Pre-processing. For a successful completion of a model a huge set of data is required. The data that is collected from real world might be in raw format. It may contain some missing values, inconsistent and noisy values. In this step such redundant values should be filtered. The data is made normalized. C. Classification. It is one of the data mining. This is used to analyze the data and allocates it into a separate class. In pre processing step, a prototype is developed. In classification, the removed prototypical is tested against the pre defined data set. That is to quantify the prototypical trained performance and accuracy. D prediction. The presentation of classification algorithm associated based on accuracy and performance analysis and will provide a suggestion for the farmers to cultivate in a particular soil type. E results. The final result gives the suggestion of crops. 4. Classification algorithms Some of the classification algorithms used are K-nearest neighbor, SVM and logistic regression. A. K nearest neighbor classifier it is one of the method used for classification and regression. An object is classified by a plurality vote of its neighbors, with the object being assigned to the class most common among bits K nearest neighbors. It is widely used in real life scenarios since it is a non-parametric meaning it does not make any underlying assumptions about the distribution data 8. Distance functions. B support vector machine. Support Vector Machine is a supervised machine learning model that uses classification problems. After giving an SVM model sets of labeled training data for either two categories, they are able to categorize new examples. It works based on the decision planes that defines the boundaries. The decision plane separates one object from another object of different class. The data points that are nearer to the hyperplane are called as support vectors 9. Kernel function is used to separate nonlinear data by transforming input to a higher dimensional space. Gaussian radial basis function kernel is used in the model K, xixj, equals exixj2 slash 2f2. Where K, xi, xj, equals input vectors in input space, xi, xj2 equals higher dimensional space of x and y coordinate and s is a free parameter. See logistic regression. It is one of the predictive analysis. It is one of the predictive analysis. It is a classification algorithm used to assign observations to a discrete set of classes. The hypothesis of logistic regression tends it to limit the cost function between 0 and 1. V proposed methodology The system architecture of the proposed model is shown in the below figure. 6. Result analysis The proposed model is based on soil and crop database. Several machine learning algorithms are used to classify the soil type. For a particular soil type suitable crop is suggested. From the experimental result we see that SVM has obtained the maximum accuracy. The classification accuracy is tabled below. Table 2. Result Method Accuracy 
Ramesh VET. L9 J4891.9%, Golop JJ4892.7%, Proposed Work SVM 96%, Fig 3. Proposed Architecture The proposed system involves two phases the training and testing phase. It uses two database the soil database and crop database 10. The soil database includes the chemical features and geographical features of the soil. Table 1 shows the chemical features of the soil. Table 1. Chemical attributes 7. Conclusion and future. Enhancement A model is proposed for predicting the soil type and suggest a suitable crop that can be cultivated in that soil. The model has been tested using various machine learning algorithms such as KNN, SVM and logistic regression. The accuracy of the present model is maximum than the existing models. In future suitable fertilizers are suggested for the well growth of the crop cultivated. The present models deals with available old data whereas the future model contain the real-time data that is directly received from agricultural land that is placed with sensors. The sensors senses the soil fertility and other minerals contained in the soil.